Well, it's not been a perfect summer on Lakes Freeman and Schaefer this summer, where water levels have fluctuated at times on both lakes. But the season finished strongly for both with a good Labor Day weekend. News 18's Brittany Tyner joins us now and reports it was a good holiday weekend for conservation officers and a good summer for one business. Brittany? Dan, despite the rain and cooler temps, one business owner says it's been an a fairly successful summer. Now that the holiday weekend has come and gone, he says it's time to pack up for the winter. Labor Day weekend is the unofficial end to summer, and that means one last hurrah for boaters on Lake Schaefer and Lake Freeman. The season pretty much ends Labor Day weekend. Now there's another weekend after Labor Day, um, or next weekend that we're open, uh, but after that it pretty much falls off. Owner of Lake Schaefer Boat Rentals, Larry Blazer, says despite this summer's unpredictable weather, business was strong. It's been a little bit chilly in some times, and it's been a little rainy in other times, but you know, it's been a successful summer up here in Monticello. Another factor that might have kept boaters away was the changing lake levels. As News 18 has reported, the federal government mandates that Oakdale Dam on Lake Freeman keep its water flow of 500 cubic feet per second down the Tippecanoe River to protect endangered mussels. Because of a broken floodgate at Norway Dam, Lake Schaefer had dropped two feet about a week and a half ago. But conservation officer Clay Webb says the lakes were busy this holiday weekend. Had a very good weekend, uh, a lot of boat traffic, no accidents, fortunately, no one was hurt, uh, no arrests for boating while intoxicated, anything like that. A few minor infractions, and that was it. So, very good weekend overall. Both Webb and Blazer say now that the weekend's wrapped up, it's time to start thinking about this winter. This is definitely the kind of the high point of the season. Uh, everybody gets in that last ditch run, and then after this, it, it'll start. Uh, dropping off dramatically. Fall is beginning to pull all the boats out. It takes about a month and a half to pull out uh, all the boats and cold weather sets in. Now we are still months away from thinking about cold weather sports on the lakes, but after several years where snowmobiling on the frozen lakes was difficult, Officer Webb says last winter was ideal. He says with predictions for another cold winter, officers are expecting to be out again in a few months. Brittany Tyner, News 18.